What is going on, my friends? Cubs fan Han here for yet another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And my friends, I have got to introduce you to my new favorite Galaxy of Heroes YouTuber. It's just Ian. What's going on? It's just Ian. What's going on, Can guys? Can I just call you Ian? Yes, Can I just call, call you just, just Ian? Just call me Ian. <laughs> Ian is the perfect name. Now, yes. Ian, I've, <laughs> I've known about you for a while, but where you really came on my radar recently is I found your General Skywalker guide, which helped me put together my own guide. Um, and you've actually been going through and helping other people unlock General Skywalker. And so I thought it was about time to bring you on the channel for a video. Now, if you guys have not subscribed to just Ian yet, just get over there and subscribe to him right now. There's a link down below in the description. But we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about 2020 for Galaxy of Heroes. What do you have to look forward to in 2020 for Galaxy of Heroes? We are going to give you guys five reasons we are amped to play Galaxy of Heroes in the year 2020, which is fast upon us. And so reason number one for me is Grand Arena. Grand Arena, I freaking love Grand Arena, holy cow. Go for it, man, go for it. Yeah, so Grand Arena to me is the best part of this game. I just recently got a win. I was streaming this, it was tons of fun. Had I love they... it for streaming, I love it for, do you know this person? Um, I do not, but I, oh. you talk, you talk about Padme getting your hold, man. Freaking oh, love Padme. Padme. Oh, I thought you said, okay. Not yeah. Jamie, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, So Padme is the reason I won, and we're going to talk a little bit more about her later. And look, oh no, she's going right now. Oh, My no. opponent is literally mid attack. We're going to have to gauge this on this video live. There is 13 minutes left and they're desperate because I didn't clear their ships. So uh, how do you feel about Grand Arena, Ian? Okay. I, I think Grand Arena is one of the best modes in the game if not it is the best yeah for a lot of different reasons you have just so much stuff that you uh that you got to put into it and it's just a lot of fun you got to be competitive against people that you might you might know like discord servers i fight a bunch of people that i know and, and having to have that little matchup that you know against like a, a specific person it's just a lot of fun but yeah grand arena there is so much competitiveness competitiveness to it and there's just so much strategy that goes into Grand Arena. That's why I love it the most. It is just so much fun. I love that you mentioned the strategy. I think that's my favorite part personally. Yeah. Um, Squad Arena, when this game started, was where I enjoyed things the most. That tend that lost its luster after a while because it becomes repetitive, right? You're doing the same yeah. thing every day. It's part of your routine. It almost feels like a chore. Whereas yeah. Grand Arena, especially, I I really I know a lot of people don't like three v three, but I love it because it actually has some genuine theory craft involved it's not gonna let you just take in your straight darth revan team you're gonna have to carve things up figure out who yeah. that sixth character is when you split a team in two and that kind of thing and then also figuring out you know what does my opponent have what's their strengths what are they gonna play is all of this and it's it's been like this for over a year now and i still enjoy going into grand arena just as much as i did before and just like that i i have a loss here we're watching this live on this Watch video live baby oh uh, they can yeah. get through they got they have to get through my padme team still though so maybe we'll see padme hold live here so well i like what you said about 3v3 um the difference between 3v3 and 5v5 i know we don't want to go about it too much but 3v3 guys they're as much as i don't like it i think it's one of the most you know creative modes out there right now there is so much theory crafting that you got to put into it especially on defense side you might have like really strong defense or really strong really strong offenses rather but man defense side with theory crafting there is so much fun to be had there i'm, I'm telling you so much fun totally for agree me, for me at least <laughs> and look we are in progress now we're gonna see if they're, oh, they're not my padme team though they're just going for the easy kills probably easy all right kills. ian you have got reason number two go go over reason number two for us all right, so 2020 content looks promising, guys. It looks very promising. Um, first and foremost, if you guys don't watch, or not watch, if you guys don't read the Q&As on the forums, you guys got to because there's a lot of cool tidbits that they, that they talk about over there on the forums. So one of the things that we've been promised is a new raid coming here around the early of next year. I would actually say it's around March or April, um, around, you know, the Clone Wars TV show. Actually, that's in February, so maybe maybe my yeah. back to that uh but yeah it looks it looks really good i think ship raid and just you know new raids in general we should be seeing in my opinion at least two raids this next year two just raids 
I would I would expect that. I You're would expect, wow. Yeah, I would expect a raid with uh with ships and characters, kind of like the GS uh -huh. event. Okay. And and make that something like this new movie, the episode nine. Oh, and, yes. And, and make Palpatine the, the the character that you get, and then we're talking like way down the year, like you know uh, December or if you want to do like November, like the, the late part of the year. Then we'll see a Death Star raid, and it makes sense to me because we just got mm. finished with some Galactic Republic. Try to revisit some of the old the uh, original trilogy, and if they want to, feel free to you know hit us up with some, some Jedi Luke. You know we love <laughs> Jedi Luke. Just and hit us right up, CG. We're down. <laughs> just hit us up. So yeah, I think I think ship raids, guys, is gonna be something to look into here. I really feel like as well. Now here's one thing I will say that might ref that might debunk what you just said um okay. a little bit and that's it i think they've mentioned they're already working on a raid and yeah. so if they're gonna do like a palpatine thing uh a sequel trilogy thing i don't know if they had enough info about rise of skywalker to do that gotcha, um yeah. or maybe they'd make it something last jedi thing which i think would probably be a bad idea because a lot of people hated the last <laughs> jedi um yeah. and force awake i i don't know but what i think that Rise of Skywalker very much gave us a setting that would be dope for absolutely dope for a raid. I won't spoil anything, no but spoilers. you've got a reason for a ship <laughs> phase and yep. you've got a reason for Palpatine to be like a raid boss and you would have in two phases that you could easily make out of that. Two versions of Palpatine, am I right? And I, easy, I just yeah. think that would be some of the dopest content ever i mean i'm i'm so excited about that i i wore my rise of skywalker t-shirt for this video <laughs> so anyway i think at the end of the day with what cg has said there is reason to be hopeful for a lot of new content in 2020 especially because we don't have a movie coming out in 2020 it kind of gives them freedom to do what they want um reason number three I think that you should play Galaxy of Heroes in 2020 is if there's a lot of conditions on this one and I might get I might get crap for this but if <laughs> you are a new player to this game and if you're a spender there's never been a better time to start Galaxy of Heroes because the hyperdrive bundle is going to absolutely put you in hyperdrive and get you there really really fast. I got a hold oh, there by the way. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So the hyperdrive bundle now love it or hate it there's reasons to hate it there's reasons to love it if this dollar amount is not going to drive you insane you can get basically what is it like four or five legendary characters get straight to level 85 and really jump into this game faster than you ever have it pretty much takes you know i would say two years off of of farming stuff in yeah. there in like a hundred dollars pretty much so it's definitely worth it yeah so do you think it's an interesting discussion because i'm just looking at this from the perspective of a new player who's down with this dollar amount i'm not i'm not saying this is a good thing or a bad thing for the game i'm just saying if that is you now is a good time to play the game so let's talk about the flip side of that do you think ian that this is a good thing for the game so i think it is because this allows for newer players and Whenever you're talking about getting newer players, there's going to be a lot more money to be made for CG. And sure. with that, they have a lot more opportunities to create new modes and new characters, especially new characters. So I think it's only a positive here. You just just don't think of it as a negative here, guys. As much as you might think it is, I really would like to have a lot of uh, you know positives come out of this. I really think there's yeah. a lot of positives. The, the, there is a negative in my opinion, and it's not geared towards players like us. It would more be for new players to the game yeah, who new are not wanting to spend. So this is great for new players who are willing to buy it. Yeah. If you're going to be a new player who isn't going to buy it, then you're going to be in a world of hurt because Squad Arena, where your main source of crystals is, is going to be a lot harder to be competitive in. Um, so I think that's probably the main negative here. But I also feel like, you know what, this is probably one of the bigger issues this game was running into is there's such a wide spread of players and you know beginning players and with rise of skywalker lots of beginning level players are coming to the game and late game players and how do you close that gap without having pe just telling people all right we'll wait three years until you can catch up yeah. and this is an answer to that this does solve that 
whether this dollar amount is a problem to you or not, it does address an issue I think this game was facing. And I don't know if there was a way to do that that was going to make everyone happy. All right. Yeah. Number four was your idea on our list. Let's talk about number yeah. four. Hit me. So this one, number four, guys, is diversity of the meta. Um, and and I you're think not talking to arena. Not arena. No, okay. this can be really any aspect of the game, really. Um, a great example of this is uh, the clones. So they okay. liked in this game, if you guys are newer players um, and you're watching this, they like to do reworks of factions. And recently we got a reworked faction of the clones, 501st, and some GR. And the clones is a perfect example because you can use those clones with Rex, um, Echo, Fives, um, and I guess now Shock T. She's not 501st, but she's really great with the clones. Right. You can use those guys. You can stomp the raid, the HSTR, you can stomp the HAAT, the tank raid, and you can stomp people in Arena and also in G8. Literally, that team is used everywhere. So that point with diversity, there is going to be a lot of diversity to be happening here this next year. I think um, a lot of these reworks teams. this year have done wonders for diversity. Again, yes. Squad Arena, it's questionable. I mean, Relics did kind of make things a little bit more diverse. True. Um, you know, you got lots of different things people are running, but especially for things like Grand Arena, I think is where I'd like to focus. Um, yeah. The clones are great. You've got, uh, you know, Anakin Skywalker, General Grievous, Night Sisters. There's so many different teams you can go for that are going to give you a ton of value. Even like Night Sisters, for example, you get a Relic 7000. Holy cow. That fool yeah, can light out. people the heck up. This is crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy what you can do when you when you really go in and, and max a team. And I'm going to agree with you, Ian. I think that's a very positive uh, component of this game right now and a great reason to play the game in 2020 is in a lot of ways you can choose your destiny. Um, you know, maybe not completely. Like if Cup is your thing, you know, Corson Underworld Police is all you love. You know, you take him to Relic 7. I think you're probably going to regret it. Um, unless you just want to say, I've got a Relic 7 Cup. And hey, some people do. You know, some people did that. But some if you do, love yeah. prequels, there's a team for you. If you love oh, Night Sisters, there's a team for you. If you love Bounty Hunters, there's a team for you. If you love, um, you know, you love uh, Old Republic, there's two teams for you, three teams for you, maybe. So there's lots of Old Republic. So I like that choose your destiny component because I think that's what makes Star Wars so great. And so I think yeah. that really plays into what I love about Star Wars. I think that's a great thing about this game. It's an amazing thing, yeah, for sure. Well, let's talk about number five. We're gonna round it out here, Ian. Number Let's five is that tw we're going to talk about the content coming to the Star Wars universe as a whole in 2020. We have got basically two big things coming. The Clone Wars is hitting in just two months. Clone Wars season seven. I got to catch up, man. I am behind. I got to uh, catch up. What? I, I got to catch what? up. Uh, what? You, you haven't seen Clone Wars? Don't and hate me. What? Don't hate me, guys. I, I need to I need a, I catch up. F in F. the chat for Ian. It's a big uh, Dude, a you listen. Up. Listen to me right now. You commit to me on this video that you will finish all of the Clone Wars before February. I'll do it, commit. I swear. You have no excuse. It's all on Disney+. I'll Plus. commit. I'll commit. I'll commit. I was, I'm, okay, on, everyone, I'm on season three. Everyone, I, got, go, I got three go more seasons. Go subscribe to him just so you can follow up with him now and make sure he does it. Keep him honest. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll binge watch it, guys. I promise. <laughs> have I you promise. not seen any of it? Oh, I'm on season three. I have, I'm oh, at the okay. Savage part. All right. Yeah, well, yeah. At least, it's, at it's least you started it. It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. I enjoy it. There, enjoy there's it. slow spots, but there's the, there's so much in there that makes it worth it. So anyway, yeah. we've got Clone Wars coming <laughs> up. We've got The Mandalorian Season 2 confirmed for the fall. And so those two things are going to be awesome items for CG to feed off of for content. But almost oh, yeah. as notable for uh, as Clone Wars and Mando is, is the gaps in content we've got with uh, almost nothing coming yeah. to the universe no movies we've got you know from once fed once clone wars hits between mando we got the whole summer uh with yeah. no content and then obviously we'll have the kenobi series on the horizon probably somewhere mid 2021 or so I, I think they're starting filming this summer uh summer 2020 um mm -hmm. that leaves cg open to do things like in the original trilogy maybe some kind of original trilogy death star raid like you said which we've been asking for for a long time or to okay. revisit the old republic or or bring in some other characters from you know like bo katan or something from rebels which is somebody that i really wanted to see in the game um there's there's a lot of flexibility there and I think that gives us options to have a lot of cool content coming to this game, which I think 
in 2019, the biggest fail of this game was a lack of content. I'm really hoping that 2020 can rectify that. And I think that what's going on in Star Wars sets the stage for them to be able to. Yeah, I if they don't hit with some new content in this next year, um, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. I, I've been rocking in-game. My name has been changed like the last four or five months to new content. That's my name in-game. <laughs> and I want to get new content so bad. So yeah. See yeah, it's it's the biggest know. it's the biggest fault of this game right now. It's the only thing I can say I I'm really upset about and I'm I'm really optimistic that things are going to get better. I mean they they said so in their Q and A's. 2020 is going to be a great year. Yep. We're just gonna I'm I'm gonna say all right, prove it to me, prove it to me. That's all you can do. You you can't you can't you know do much of anything else. You gotta just be optimistic, guys. Yep. That's all you can do. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to round us out. Those are our five reasons to play Galaxy of Heroes in 2020. Let me know what your reasons are down in the comments below, and I would love to read them. And I'll pin the one I like the most. How about that? So you guys can search for that. So, Ian, thanks again for joining me for the video. We got info down below in the description how you guys can find his channel. Leave a like for this video if you did enjoy it. And so that's all of you. I know you all enjoyed it. Like the dang video. Ian, do you have any positive, um, any, any final parting words for um, all of the Cubs fan Hanites out there? Well, I think as, as negative as this game has been over the last few months, I've always found something positive in the game. Um, so I want you guys, I challenge you guys to find something positive that you can that you can find and, and try to stay optimistic like I've been saying. There's going to be something fun happening here soon. But you got to keep your heads up and you got it, guys. You can do this. You can do, do it. You can do it. <laughs> Gaming is fun. Yay. Is fun. <laughs> Just bring yeah. us content. Bring us something to do. Please. All right, everyone. Thanks again for joining me for the video. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.